Hello again ladies and gentlemen, I'm Joe Hindi, the Android Authority App Guy. We're reaching the end of June and that means it's time to take a look at the best apps that were released this month. First up this month is Angry Birds Epic. Yes, I know it's an Angry Birds game and many of you are tired of Rovio's Cash Cow, however the game has actually garnered very favorable reviews so far even from people I know who generally dislike Rovio, in-app purchases, and Angry Birds. It's an RPG that's free to play with in-app purchases that do fall into the realm of reasonable. If you're an RPG fan, why not check it out? Boom Beach is a strategy game from Supercell who you may know as the developers of Clash of Clans. Boom Beach utilizes a lot of the same elements of Clash of Clans but features a longer campaign, different battle tactics, and a more modern approach in terms of armaments and troops. It's also free and it was a hit game on iOS. Unfortunately, our next item is only for phones that run CyanogenMod Mod 11, which are pretty much you root users out there and those rocking the OnePlus One. It's the Cyanogen Mod theme showcase app, and what it does is allow you to mix and match various theme elements to create a more personalized experience. It's really fun to use, and once there are more themes made for it, those rocking CM will have a truly awesome choice in terms of UI theming. Next up is the official AOSP email app. This was released so that Google can update the application without administering a system update, and it's always a good decision to do that. Unfortunately, you'll have to have a phone running stock Android, such as a Nexus device or a Google Play Experience device, but other than that, it's free to download whenever you want. Google Slides was released right after Google I.O., and with that completes the trio that makes up the Google Office Suite. If you're an avid user of Google Drive, you'll need to get this to view and edit presentations along with Google Docs and Google Sheets for documents and spreadsheets respectively. It's free, it looks really good, and if you use Drive, you'll probably need to use it eventually anyway. Lifetime Alarm Clock is another application that was released, and much like Timely, it's a unique look at the alarm clock. It has a pretty fun design, it looks nice, and it also has features like battery life saving, wake challenges to make sure you're actually up, and more features you'd expect out of an alarm clock. It's pretty nice, and if you're tired of your current alarm, give this one a shot. After all, it's free. Next up is Terrain Home, and Samsung actually had a small hand in the making of this launcher. It's in beta right now for those in the United States only, but it does have the potential to be a pretty fun little launcher. It focuses on contextual content and simplification. It may take a few updates to work out some of the bigger bugs, but most people believe it has a lot of potential. Also, it's free. Last up this month is Yahoo's AV8 Launcher. It's been around for a while, but it's officially left beta and you don't need an invite code to use it anymore. A lot of people like this launcher for its simplicity, and the official release also includes a few new features for things like contacts, calendar, and alarm. It's free, and it's pretty nice, and it supports icon packs, so why not check it out? Once again, I'm Joe Hindi from AndroidAuthority.com. Don't forget to subscribe to the Android Authority YouTube channel. And if you want to follow Android Authority myself or the rest of the video team, you can find our social media links in the video description below. If you're hanging out for a minute, we have a couple of awesome videos for you to watch right over there and linked in the video description below for those of you on mobile. Finally, don't forget to check out the written companion in the video description below because that's where you're going to find all of the download links. As always, thanks for watching everybody and have a wonderful day.